Many have heard stories about ball lightning. I didn't just hear about it, I saw it with my own eyes. And it was one of the strangest things I've ever experienced. In this video, I'll share my personal encounter with ball lightning and also the scientific facts about this mysterious phenomenon. In late summer of 2006, in Finland, in the countryside where I lived at the time, the sound of thunder could be heard in the distance, but the storm was not directly overhead. That's when I experienced something extraordinary. As I walked into the kitchen, I suddenly saw a bright white ball hovering about one and a half meters above the floor. It was around 20 centimeters across. The ball was completely white, glowing with bright light, and it did not spark it, just moved slowly to the side. The phenomenon lasted only five seconds, but it felt like forever. Then, with a deafening bang, it vanished. No sparks, no fire, just a shockingly loud noise that made my ears ring. The ceiling light bulb shattered, and the microwave buzzed for a moment, even though it wasn't switched on. Some kind of invisible energy had filled the room, and this was without any doubt a completely real experience. Share in the comments if you have ever experienced ball lightning yourself. Ball lightning is one of nature's greatest mysteries. It is a rare glowing sphere that can float in the air from a few seconds up to a minute. Most often it is 10 to 30 centimeters across, but some reports describe sizes up to a meter. The color can vary from white to yellow, orange, or even blue. Some say it moves slowly, others claim it is passed through windows, and sometimes it ends with a loud explosion. The phenomenon is so rare that it is estimated only about one person in a hundred will ever see it in their lifetime. In other words, while thousands of thunderstorms happen every year, ball lightning may appear only in one out of tens of thousands of cases. Science doesn't yet have a single proven explanation, but many theories have been suggested. Silicate theory, a lightning strike, vaporizes soil and sand, which burns as a glowing sphere. Plasma hypothesis, hot electrical plasma held together by strong electric and magnetic fields. Nanobattery model, airborne particles act like tiny batteries, slowly releasing energy. Microwave cavity theory, lightning traps microwaves inside a bubble, forming a glowing sphere. Rydberg matter theory, an exotic state of matter stabilizing the ball. And finally, some suggest a few sightings might be the brain's reaction to strong electric fields, but this cannot explain the times when ball lightning has been seen by multiple people, recorded on video, or caused physical damage. 1975 to SS Edmund Fitzgerald, a lake freighter that sank in Lake Michigan. According to eyewitnesses, several ball lightning-like phenomena were seen around the ship just before it went down, linked to the thunderstorm and strong electromagnetic fields, 1963 inside an airplane a british airline captain reported that a ball lightning entered the cockpit through the front window and exited through the rear window without an explosion this is one of the most famous claims of ball lightning penetrating an enclosed space 2014 chinese observation during a thunderstorm video footage of a lightning strike was recorded at the same time an optical spectrum was captured showing that the ball lightning contained silicon, iron, and calcium, likely originating from the soil. This was the first scientifically documented case of natural ball lightning. Even though science has made progress, ball lightning remains a mystery. Why does it appear so rarely? Why can it last so long? And how can it sometimes seem to pass through walls? I saw it with my own eyes and it left me with a lasting memory.